Mr. Mahesh Warrior, congratulations on securing All India Rank of 36 in GATE 2023 from Mechanical Engineering Branch. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mahesh, can you briefly introduce about yourself? Hey, I am Mahesh Warrior and I am coming from Kerala. Uh, so I finished my B.Tech in 2021. Then I did an apprentice for six months. Then I, after that, I left it and I joined for ACE coaching in uh, January for February batch. Uh, for one year almost, I got for year preparation. Okay. Uh, you tell us uh, in ACE what type of coaching program that you have joined? I have joined for a live online class. The ACE Academy online live class program you have yeah. joined. Okay. So for how many months this uh, classes were held? Classes started at uh, on uh, February 26th. And uh, it uh, went up to November. Okay, right. Uh, Mahesh, you please tell us, while attending these online live classes, uh, how you prepared your running class notes? And in case you get any doubts, how you used to resolve those doubts? Sir, actually, I had preferred uh, writing at that same time itself whenever I was uh, listening to the class so that I wouldn't waste time after that preparing notes. So long notes I prepared along with the classes. And after that, during my revision, whenever I felt uh, I'm comfortable, I prepared the short notes. The short so, notes means what points you used to write there in the short notes? Uh, I wrote it such that I uh, I can remember the almost the whole concept uh, with a very few points with a little number of pages okay. so that time is saved so concisely you have written the entire content right yes okay good so how we used to carry out the revision work at what frequency so initially uh, till the month of november whenever classes are going on i uh, focus more on revision because uh, i felt i'll forget often so uh, i focus more on revision and I used to do problems from, if, uh, for AS, we had three materials. So bits and bytes was a good book for conceptual knowledge. So I focused on it more. And uh, so that it had some uh, lesser number of problems, but good problems. So that I could focus on that and I could also focus on revision. So after the month of November, I uh, focused less on revision from notes. I focus more on short notes and started giving full length tests. Okay, Mahesh, one thing, let me please clarify it. So yes. You attended from the February month onwards, right? Yeah. Okay, suppose say by the end of uh, March, one subject was completed, hmm. for example. So when you used to do the revision on the same subject, after, after what interval of times? Uh, so after uh, this, Subject is over after uh, two weeks or so, something like that. Whenever I feel I have for forgotten some of the concepts, I uh, try to revise it. If there is another subject clashing with it, then I would try to uh, schedule both. At least within a month, once I would try to revise the subject. Okay. So, on an average, within one month, you used to revise the every subject on an yeah. average. Okay. Right. Otherwise, you tend to forget this, right? If you don't yeah. revise properly, that's fine. I had a problem with uh, remembering. I had I had less problem with problems. <laughs> okay. So how you could you could improve this uh, problem solving skills for the for the gate examination? Yeah, I felt uh, because I focus more on bits and bytes, uh, the book given by Ace, which is more focused on a little higher level problems. So uh, starting we had enough time for uh, thinking for thinking and all and solving. So first of all, uh, I started, even though I took time, I tried to solve without looking at the solutions. Almost all questions I tried to solve like that. So that way I could improve upon my concepts, I feel. And you might have done even this uh, PYQs of the gate examination. PYQs, I actually focus less. And in the end, uh, December and all, anyway, when we uh, look through the previous year questions, we would uh, find the questions of the last year ago. Okay. And, and most uh, of them were discussed in the class also. And uh, one more, I think the mock test, you said that, right? So there are so many mock tests in our ACE Academy, right? 
Yeah. So, at what frequency you used to take this mock test? In December, uh, I took initially I took three tests uh, within a gap of two days. Then after that, I uh, I felt I can I should improve more because I didn't get the marks I was expecting. So I um, stopped for a week or so, and then I focused on problems and time management. Then after that, I started giving. In January, I think within uh, after one test, I gave a gap of two days. Then the next test, neither. Okay. And on average, how many hours you used to work after the completion of that online live classes every day? Uh, I think ten, maybe ten to twelve. Into ten to twelve hours a day. Uh, yeah. Yes. Not yes. Uh, fully effective, but that's the time I would sit for still. That is very much required unless you work so hard daily, 10 to 12 hours. It's difficult to complete the entire syllabus with a thorough confidence level, is it not? Yeah. Okay. See, when you are making such a journey of preparation, attending the classes and referring to notes, solving the question, taking mock tests, etc., so sometimes you become what you call stressed and then you may lose some confidence levels also. Did you come across any such situation? Situation? Yes, uh, actually, because uh, we mostly we had a reference that in the last month, that is January, in the end, we should uh, try to focus more on revision. But I think it won't work for anyone, everyone. So some people would be fine with that. Some people won't, won't be exactly fine with that. So I also tried to uh, give my focus on the last week on revision. But uh, during revision, I'll take time. Generally, I take time for completing uh, revisions. So last two weeks, it was quite stressful. And uh, I also got some uh, cold and back pains in the okay. last two weeks. So okay. you tell me what, what, you used, what you actually did in the last two, two weeks before the gate examination. Yeah, I try some of the concepts which I think it's very important. So I try to uh, refer the note itself. Uh, others I refer the short notes. And until I felt confident, I tried to revise. Okay. And then I uh, solved some good problems which I had marked before. Or so. Okay. And uh, Mahesh, uh, in addition to this online live classes of Ace Academy, the class notes, the middle what Ace Academy given to you, uh, did you refer to any further test book on any subject? Is it necessary, first of all? Uh, I don't think uh, test books are ne uh, necessary. Uh, but uh, if if we have any doubt and we need further clarification, maybe we can refer, refer the textbooks. But the, whatever the faculty is teaching, that's more than enough fraction. Okay. When online live class is going on, suppose you come across some doubts there. So how you used to get them clarified with the teacher? Uh, uh, teachers mostly provided uh, facility to ask them then and there, mm. but uh, you, I had the uh, opportunity to ask my friends also because they were also part of the gen. So some doubts I would clarify later. And moreover, in AS Academy online classes, you know you have a facility, press chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through that you can post that uh, doubt also. Yeah. Our faculty will respond immediately. Yeah, yeah. That is also there to clarify if at all you have any doubts there. Yeah, mostly, most doubts are clear in class. Also, we can also use other facilities. Okay. So, 36 marks, 36 rank means so how many marks you got in the gate exam? I got 74.3. Uh, what was our uh, score? Score 873. 873. Uh, Mr. Mahesh, uh, in the examination hall of the gate examination, uh, did you follow any specific strategy like uh, first solving the technical, then coming to yeah. aptitude or reverse and solving two marks, one mark, anything as such? Yeah, actually, I had uh, first started with technical itself, as you said. Then uh, once I finished the easy questions, whichever I felt I will get in one go, I tried to solve first. Then I went back to aptitude. Then I again came back to technical, whichever the questions I had left. So, uh, but I had tried to uh, keep the strategy flexible. Like uh, all the papers are not the same. Some papers, all the questions would be moderate level. 
some papers or not two questions would eat up like that. So I think we should just have a back, uh, base strategy and then we should update according to the paper. Good, Mr. Mahesh. Uh, from this uh, successful preparation and getting this rank 36, uh, will you please uh, uh, share with us some strategy tips required for this gate examination to crack and get a good rank? Okay, uh, I felt uh, that we have to focus on the conceptual learning itself. Once you're clear with that, then other things mostly would follow because uh, even in the full length uh, questions would be conceptual level. It would be slightly more difficult generally than the uh, gate exam. So if we are, uh, we are strong with the concepts, then generally uh, even, then we have to focus on time management. If these two things are okay, then I think it would not be a big problem. Okay. Good, Mahesh. Thank you for joining and uh, sharing your uh, Thank you, sir. preparation Thank tips with us. And uh, I wish you good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank and you. And we have best wishes to your parents and your friends also. Okay. Sir. God bless you, Mr. Mahesh. Thank you, sir. Thank you.